Hi Grade 9 students, I'm Teacher Ayan and welcome back to our lesson. This video is a continuation of your Week 7 lesson. And our topic for today is Transforming Quadratic Functions from General Form to Vertex Form. Again, before we start, make sure you have with you your pen and paper for your solutions later on. And do not hesitate to pause and play this video when it need arises. So you can even repeat this video for mastery purposes. Let's start. Let's proceed to learning task number 3. Transform the quadratic function defined by y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c into the form of y is equals to a quantity x minus h squared plus k. Meron dito dalawang example at yun yung isusolve ninyo. Okay, so I will give an example wherein we are going to transform quadratic function from general form to standard or vertex form. But before that, let us be familiar first to the general form and standard or vertex form of quadratic function. Okay, so this is the general form of quadratic function, y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Tapos, ang goal natin ay transform natin siya into the form of standard or vertex form of quadratic function, katulad nito. Okay, so here are the steps in transforming general form of quadratic function to standard or vertex form of quadratic function. First, group the terms containing x. Number two, factor out a. If a is equal to 1, magpo-proceed na daw tayo sa step 3. So, tandaan yun. Kapag um, a ng equation ay 1, so hindi na natin gagawin yung step 2, magpo-proceed na tayo sa step 3. And step 3, Complete the expression in parentheses to make it perfect squared trinomial by adding the value of b over 2 squared and subtracting the value of a quantity b over 2 squared to the constant term. And fourth, simplify, the ex simplify and express perfect squared trinomial as the square of binomial. Okay, so let's have our first example. So transform y is equals to x squared minus 6x plus 4 into y is equals to a quantity x minus h squared plus k. Uh, this one is the quadratic term, linear term, and the constant term. So, the value of a dito is 1, b is negative 6, and our constant term is positive 4. Okay, so let's start transforming this equation into vertex form. So, first, Group the terms containing x. So, alin dito yung may mga x? Igugrupo daw natin. So, eto, tsaka to. So, magiging ganyan na siya. Okay, then number 2, factor out a. But if a is equals to 1, proceed to step 3. Okay, so, ano bang value ng a natin dito? So, ang value ng a natin ay 1. Kaya, ang sabi sa 2, kapag ang a ay 1, proceed na daw tayo sa step 3. So, hindi na natin gagawin yung step 2. Dito na tayo sa step 3 dahil ang a niya ay 1. Okay, so step 3, complete the expression in parentheses to make it perfect squared trinomial by adding the value of b over 2 squared. Tapos dito naman sa constant term, magsasubtract naman tayo ng value ng a quantity b over 2 squared. Okay, dito sa loob ng parentheses, mag-a-add, dito magsasubtract sa constant term. Kaya ito yung result. So paano naging ganito? So, ito x squared minus 6x. Paano natin nakuha yung positive 9 na yan? So, yan. Kasi, sabi dito sa step 3, kung anong value ng b over 2 squared. So, ito yon b over 2 squared. Ito yung formula natin is equals to, ang b natin is negative 6. So, sinabstitute lang natin siya. Negative 6 divided by 2, then squared. Okay, so negative 6 divided by 2 is equals to negative 3. Square of negative 3 is positive 9 because negative 3 times negative 3 is equals to positive 9. Kaya nakuha natin itong positive 9. The next, paano naman nakuha natin ang negative 9? Okay, so dito naman, sa step 3 pa rin tayo, sabi dito kasi, subtract the value of a quantity b over 2 squared to the constant term. So, eto... Kung mapapansin ninyo, itong volume to, kung anong value dito, kung anong value dito, multiply lang natin siya sa value ng A. Since ang value ng A natin dito ay 1, kaya multiply lang natin to ng 9 times 1, kaya 9 pa rin ang nakuha natin sagot. 
Okay, so positive 9. Bakit, yun, bakit positive ang sagot dito? Bakit negative? Kasi po, ang sabi dito, subtract the value. Kaya, minus ang nilagay natin. Okay? So, next. Punta tayo sa step 4. Simplify and express perfect square trinomial as the square of binomial. So, ganito ang gagawin na. So, eto yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Ikukunin lang natin yung square root ng first term. So, ang square root ng x squared ay x. Kung ano ang sign ito sa middle term, kukopyahin lang natin. So, negative, negative. Tapos, yung last term dito sa may parenthesis naman, kukunin din yung square root. So, ang square root ng 9 ay 3. Tapos, lalagyan lang natin siya ng squared. Okay? Then, sunod, positive 4, yung constant term naman natin, positive 4 minus 9 is equal to negative 5. Ito na yung tsura niya. So, y, ang a, ang a niya ay 1, kaya walang nakalagay dyan, pero automatic may 1 yan. Then, x minus h, ang h niya, ito na yung 3, then yung k natin ito. Guys, Kung, kung itatanong nyo kung ano ang vertex dito, ang vertex natin ay h at saka k. Dito, ano ang vertex natin? Or ano yung h and k natin dito? Okay, so ang h natin, ito yun. Ang h natin ay 3, positive 3. Bad positive 3 dito naman ay negative 3. So ganitong ginagawa ko para hindi kayo manito. Diba? Ito yung na-transform ninyo. So yung negative... Tapos yung formula ng vertex form is negative. So, minumultiply ko lang yan. Negative times negative, positive. Tapos, kopyahin yung number and 3. So, yun yung h positive 3. Tapos, sa k naman, ito, negative 5. So, dito, negative times positive, negative 5. So, yun yung k naman niya. So, ito, ito yung vertex natin. So, Pag-uusapan natin to sa next topic natin pero ipinakita ko lang kung paano siya kuhanin yung vertex or paano may identify kung ano ang vertex. Pero ngayon, transforming lang tayo. At transform lang natin from general to vertex form. Okay, here is another method of transforming function from general to vertex form. By using the formula of H and K. So, ang formula ng H yun. So, ang formula ng H is negative B divided by 2A. Then, sa K, 4AC minus B squared over 4A. Familiar ba kayo dito? So, ito yung nandun sa quadratic equation. Doon sa quadratic formula. Okay? So, ito yung formula natin. Siyempre, identify natin ano yung A, ano yung B, ano yung C dito. Kanina, pinaidentify ko na ang A natin ay 1, ang B ay negative 6, ang C natin ay positive 4. So, isa-substitute lang natin siya dito. Tunahin na natin yung formula ng H. So, H is equals to ang formula na negative quantity or times negative 6 kasi ang B natin is negative 6. Divided by 2 times yung A natin is 1. Kaya 2 times 1. Then next, Negative times negative 6 is equals to positive 6. Then 2 times 1 is positive 2. Then 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. So, yung yung value ng h natin. Next, dito naman sa formula ng k. So, substitute lang din natin. 4 times yung a, which is 1, times yung c, 4, minus b is negative 6, then squared, divided by 4 times the value of a, which is 1. Then, simplify. 4 times 1 times 4 is equal 16. Minus, copies, the negative 6 squared is positive 36. So, bringing down lang natin. Then, yung operation minus. Then, 4 times 1 is equals to 4. So, 16 minus 36 is equals to negative 20 divided by 4. So, negative 20 divided by 4 is equals to negative 5. So, ang gagawin natin, sundan lang natin to. So, ito yung magiging transformation niya. Okay? So, y, kinopya lang natin. Y is equals to, ang a natin, alam naman na natin, ang value ng a dito ay 1, kaya hindi na natin nilagyan dito ng 1. Tapos, yung x. So, ito, ang formula natin is negative. 
Tapos yung nakuha nating HD test positive, kaya negative times positive 3, kaya negative 3. Dito naman, sa formulas, positive, tapos ang nakuha nating value ng case negative, so positive times negative is negative 5. So, kaya yan, equal lang sila. So, pareho lang. So, it's up to you kung saan ang mas madali gawin para sa inyo. Bahala kayo mamili kung aling method ang gagamitin ninyo. Walang problema yun. Okay, so another example. y is equals to 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 into y is equals to, ganun din. Ta-transform ulit natin into vertex form. So, ito yung example natin. So, y is equals to 2x squared plus 8x plus 5. So, a is 2, b is 8, c is 5. Quadratic term, linear term, constant term. Okay, so let's follow the step. Group the terms containing x. So, alin dito may mga x, i-group ko lang natin. So, yun na. Then, yung number 2, factor out a. If a is equal to 1, proceed to step 3. So, since ang a natin dito ay hindi na 1, gagawin na natin yung step 2. Ipo-factor out natin yung a. So, paano natin siya ipo-factor out? Ilalabas lang natin yung a. Ganito. So, ilalabas lang yung a sa parenthesis, tapos, i-divide natin siya dito isa-isa sa nasa loob ng parenthesis. Tulad nito, 2x squared divided by 2, kaya x squared, 8x divided by 2 is 4x. So, ganun ang pag-factor out. Then, bring down 5. Katapos natin, sa so step 2, step 3 tayo. So, sa so step 3 ulit, gagawin natin perfect square of trinomial yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. By adding the value of b over 2 squared. So, ito yung b. Susundan natin yung formula, kaya magiging ganito na siya. So, yan. Kinopia lang to. Bring down yung a. x squared. Bring down yung 4x. So, itong positive 4, paano natin nakuha? So, sinundan lang natin yung formula. b over 2 squared is equals to. Ang b natin ay 4. B divide natin sa 2. So, the answer is 2. Then, square natin. 2 times 2 is 4. Kaya nakuha natin ang positive 4. Then, bring down yung constant term. Sa constant term naman, ang sabi dito ay subtract the value of a quantity b over 2 squared to the constant term. So, susunda naman natin formula. Ito. So, kung ano ang sagot, sabi ko kanina, kung ano ang sagot niyo dito sa una, i-multiply lang natin sa value ng A. So, since ang value ng A natin ay 2, so, the times lang natin to 4 times 2 equals 8. So, ito siya 8. Positive 8. Bakit minus ulit? Kasi, pinapasubtract. Okay, subtract natin yung value na ito doon sa constant term. Okay, ang sunod, Simplify and express perfect square trinomial as the square of binomial. So, ganito na ang mayayari. Copy 2 or bring down 2. So, kukunin natin yung square root ng first term. Ang square root ng x squared ay x. Kung ano ang sign sa gitna, kukopyahin lang natin. Ang square root ng 4 ay 2. Then, lalagyan lang natin ng squared. Then, 5 minus 8 is negative 3. So, eto na yung vertex form natin. So, from general to vertex form. Okay. So, identify natin yung H and K. So, ang H natin ay negative 2 kasi sabi ko, ba sa so formula is negative. Multiply mo dito. Negative times positive. Yung so is negative 2. Then, yung K naman natin is negative 3. Positive times negative is negative 3. So, ito yung vertex natin. To solve using the other method, using the formula of H and K, so, ganun din. Negative ang formula. Since ang B natin ay positive 8, so, negative times positive 8 divided by 2 times yung A natin, which is 2, kaya 2 times 2. And then, so we have negative times positive 8 is negative 8. 2 times 2 is positive 4. And negative 8 divided by 4, the answer is negative 2. Then, sa K, ganun din. Substitute natin yung value ng A, B, and C sa formula. So, K is equals to 4 times A is 2. C is 5 minus yung B is 8, then squared. Divided by 4 times A, which is 2. So, 4 times 2 times 5 is 40 minus 
8 squared is 64. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. 4 minus 64 is equals to negative 24 divided by 8. The answer is negative 3. So, H is negative 2. K is negative 3. Okay? Substitute lang natin sila dito sa formula. So, Y. So, ang A natin, 2. Kaya nilagay na natin siyang 2. H. Ah, sorry. X. Then, yung formula is negative. Sa H, mumultiply. Negative times negative, positive 2. Then, ang K naman natin, ne, positive times negative, negative 3. So, yan ang ating transformation ng quadratic function to vertex form.